I've uh, spotted a hostile soldier. Over. If you're like many other players in Battlefield 3 today, you are still confused on how to correctly measure bullet drop at long distances with the sniper rifles. I'm here to tell you today it is not luck, it is not something you have to develop months and months of feel in order to figure out how to do it correctly. After watching my guide today, you'll be able to quickly and easily land that perfect headshot every time. I'm Robert the Bruce with Yesh Gaming, and this is the Science of Sniping. First off, I gotta say a big thanks to Diesel Power 1973. He helped me compile the information behind the scenes, the nuts and bolts that help make these guides possible. Big shout out to him, couldn't have done it without him. But the main question you're asking is how do you measure bullet drop? Alright, that's why we're here. If we, if we didn't have bullet drop, if we're playing Call of Duty, sniping is easy, but Battlefield is realistic. So we're going to take a look at how bullet drop is actually measured. At the end of this, you're going to see my easing sniping trick plus a free bonus that you're going to love. So do not panic if this next little section seems extremely confusing because it is pretty complicated and ridiculous. But I think it's important to understand how awesome Battlefield built in the bullet drop and the sniping. Uh, and then we'll get on to how you can do it easily. First off, a mill is a milliradian. It does not mean military. When you hear uh, a mill dot scope, that actually means milliradian. It's a unit of measurement. Used in scopes, uh, you see the notch there that that arrow is pointing at. This is an eight times scope where there are five milliradians between each notch. It's just a unit of measurement. So when you see that, that's all it means. I'm going to say this quickly because it gets ridiculous. Uh, Actually measuring bullet drop, you take a thousand times the actual target height divided by the target height in mils from the scope. Then you take gravity times the range you just found out squared, divide by two, multiply that by velocity squared, that gives you bullet drop. Finally, you take a thousand times the bullet drop you just found out, divided by the range of target you found out earlier, and that gives you the number of mils to raise in the specific scope you're using. <gasps> yes, that is not a joke. It is insane, the stuff you have to go through to figure out bullet drop, unless you have spent tons of time doing it and you just have a correct feel for it, or you subscribe to Yesh Gaming and you get this sweet guide, because now I'm showing you the easy way with my guide to look like a sniping baller on the battlefield without having massive amounts of experience doing it. Now it's time to actually start paying attention because here's how the easy way works. With my guide, all you have to figure out is how tall the enemy is according to the notches on your scope. This guy here is two notches tall. So we would say with this particular sniper rifle, two notches tall, the guide would say aim up 1.25 notches. So you aim up to his head being about the 1.25 mark, just over one notch. There it is. And bam. You take the shot, it's a headshot, you get a kill, you didn't take five shots trying to figure out the range, you just nailed it the first time. It's that simple. That is all there is to it in the guide. Here's an example. Here, the height of the enemy in scope notches is .75. When he was running before he crouched, I was able to zoom in and see him and get that measurement. With this 8x scope on the L96, my guide says aim 1.3 notches up. So he's sitting there chilling, thinking he's safe, no shots have landed around him. BAM! I hit him, first shot, it's that simple, uh, over a 400 meter headshot, no guesswork involved. Uh, there's an example of the L96 8x scope guide, sweet graphics, right? I know. Um, and here's, uh, here's the numbers you're looking at. Uh, if the guy is 2.29 notches tall on your scope, you would aim a half notch up. 1.14 uh, notches tall, you aim at the one notch mark. If he's getting pretty far away, uh, He's only 0.57 tall, so he's pretty small. You aim down to the two-notch mark, and so on all the way down. That guy on the example there is 2.29, so you'd aim just a half up. He's not too far away, but you need a little adjustment, and you hit the shot. Now, if they are in between uh, some of the measurements on here, let's say he's 1.5 notches tall in your scope, it's an easy calculation to make on the fly. You see there you're looking between a half notch and a full notch, so you'd probably aim right at about 0.75. No big deal. Uh, you get the shot, you get the kill. These guides are available at yeshgaming.com. Uh, there is a Battlefield 3 category, and under that, a download section. There will be links in the description. And uh, you can download the guides for the bolt-action sniper rifles with the 8x scope. Oh, but Robert the Bruce, we want to use the 12x scope. Well, I like to do a little thing called playing the objective. And most people, when they throw on a 12x, are so far away, 
they're not even close to helping with anything. So if I get enough requests for them or, hey, maybe a couple donations through the PayPal button on the website. What? Who said that? Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll throw up the 12 times scope later on uh, and even the semi-autos. I might get crazy. But that wraps up the guide. It is that simple. Throw a comment below if you have a question about it. Click that tiny button. You may not even notice it right there on the screen to subscribe. And uh, at the end of the day, let's not forget. In Battlefield 3, only rookies can't the enemy spawn. Thank you.